Hello, hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. I thought we could finish up the week with a little teensy bit of mystery solving. So we're going to play some Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Um, I have played Crimes and Punishments before, which was good fun. And this is the game that came out after that particular title. So I'm hoping there's going to be a little bit of crossover in terms of how the game works and that sort of thing. And some fun stories on top of that. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into the first case. Well, this is uh, dramatic. Oh, someone's shooting. Who's chasing after you, Sherlock? Do tell us, please. Moriarty, perhaps? Someone who's having a good time and having a whistle, anyway. That's all we know. dramatic 48 hours earlier okay ah oh, this must be Watson of course uh hello why is the door oh, open I apologize am I disturbing you yes no, please do come in mrs my name is miss Alice de Bouvier I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbour. Uh, hi, hello. I have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Oh, she is no. not a concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Cold, and he is upset. What happened to him? Yeah, random Little child. Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out. Loud. Yeah, what oh a mood. God. Warm yourself <laughs> by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who, are we? I suppose not. Since uh, you are what? our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. This illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Mm, okay. <laughs> of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Yes, give me a puzzle, Most please. Certainly. I need a puzzle. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. Yeah. I didn't fall out of the window. Stop talking about me behind, well, Very while well. I'm here, not behind my back. That's rude. Thank you, miss. Uh, why are you here, kid? Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's, it's my father, sir. He's missing. I, I don't know what to do. Okay. Right, so we need to analyse this child. He's got red eyes crying pale skin malnutrition he's got a a necklace he's eight oh it, they've been patching his clothes neatly mended caring parents okay Let's keep moving around, see what else I can find. Let's be some more stuff. Oh, yeah, here we go. Map of London, so he can read and use a map. Very clever. And he's got a small... 
arm malformation perhaps oh well we'll see okay so we finished our first character profile i guess so we've got tom is eight years old. His clothes are well worn and have multiple patches neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well-being. His pale skin indicates that he is suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad and has red eyes. He has been weeping very recently. Tom's malformation could have been caused by his mother's poor nutrition during pregnancy. Okay. Hello. What's his name? What's your dad's George name? Hurst. That is George Hurst. Okay. Missing. How Missing, long? Eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie. He has caring parents. We know that because someone's Obviously. been repairing his clothes. Your clothes are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died mm. when I was a little one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's no. very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work. Okay. So he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. And that makes well, sense. This time, he didn't come home. Uh, is he doing some dodgy stuff, kid? He might have done. Uh, what happened? Tell uh, us. When was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new That's job, a long time, what the heck? Time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Angry? Okay. Strange how? Strange? In what way? He said to me, son, I'm out on a special job. Mm. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. I would say so, yes. That would be a strong indicator that something has gone wrong, kid. Three weeks. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. You're eight. What were you thinking? You and your father are both at risk. You should have come to me much earlier. I was afraid. I ain't got no family. Well, and you've I've got no other place to go. Got your father, but if he's gone, finds so. If my father left me, he'll throw me out on the street. Tom, you've been very resourceful. We shall be discreet. Okay, well, if only my mother we'll try. Is still here. Let's go. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. 12 Dorset the Street, floor, okay. Door E. Door E, okay. It's in Whitechapel, sir. Yeah, I was going to say it had to be Whitechapel. I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. We do like oh, a good puzzle, you, don't sir. we, Sherlock? Right. Let's have a look around the apartment. I can always consult with it if needed. Good. Um. Oh, so we can just go there. So this is some evidence. Right. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Okay, so that's the same as it was, and then. Here's Watson. Poor child. Holmes, you should help him. I think that's kind of what I was going to do, Watson. Like, all right, Captain Obvious, what do you want? Like a medal? I need to get changed because I don't think this is appropriate attire for going to Whitechapel. What have we got? Let's play dress up. That's not going to work. Bandit outfit. Okay, that's a bit... Rough around the edges, maybe it would work. Maybe not the priest outfit. That's quite fancy. That's very fancy. I like that jacket. That's nice. The sailor outfit. All right. Not sure the morning gown's going to be quite right either. Um, I think... We will just use the bandit outfit because oh no the bandit outfit please thank you that would fit in because then no one's gonna mug us for our money <laughs> that's the logic anyway like don't mug me please um oh yeah this is watson's bedroom let's have a snoop 
What have you been saying about me? Anything? Got some documents our adventures in here. Well, that's boring. He hasn't written anything juicy. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let's say hi to Toby first. Toby's the dog. Brave Toby. The best nose in the Ah, oh, it's so Empire. cute. <laughs> Bye, Toby. See you in a bit. Right, let's go Whitechapel then, shall we? Okay, so we've arrived. Hooray! Let's go. So it was Dorset Street, number 12. These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. Oh, great. Through all the... Uh... <laughs> waste deposits. Good job I wore my crap clothes. North Street. North Street. That's not what we want. Hey, buddy. This looks really good. It's very run down. Dorset, Dorset Street. Street. Here we go. So we need number 12. That's 14. So it should be on... There's 13. He'll be here on this. That's 15. So here's 12. There we go. Let's go in. And we needed flat E. Didn't we? So that is this one. Knock, knock. Hello. Kid, why don't you keep the door this locked? Is home, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, it's... um. Great. Nice one, kid. Right, what have we got here? The roof leaks all the time. The roof's leaking. Used to fix it. Yeah, it's dripping, isn't it? He's George got some Hurst's work was tools. Varied. He was evidently a hard working and valuable hand. Is he a hat he could be like a handyman of some description. Right, what have we got here? Bills, maybe? So he's paid one bill. Uh, yep, yeah, again. A month's rent. This one hasn't been paid yet. Hurst covered his bills okay. ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Again, proving that he was not a bad father. My mother saw. Because he wouldn't just abandon him, so the police aren't My listening, because it's... Like, but that's all I have. Uh, poor people, I guess, so they didn't really My care too much. I was very young too. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry, my my dude. Right, let's keep on having a look around here. What have we got? Food's running low. Mm -hmm. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Well, we need to kind of help find him then, well, don't I we? I see the preparations for peasant soup. A clever concoction mm. for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. That looks... Uh... Questionable is all I'm going to say. Questionable. A collection of worn out and mm. second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Which is also what we learned. Me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Ah, oh, see, he cares, kid. Tom probably reads at night. He reads at night. The Strand magazine. This is where. Huh. So that's why you came to I'm see here. Me. That's why you came to see me. Please, Please, sir, find my father. Well, I'm gonna try. What have we got with our detective skills? Ooh, old clothes. Hello. Something in the pocket. Piece of paper. The old Tabard pub, North Street. Okay. Well, we saw a sign for that. Glue. Probably taken from a wall. Taken from a wall, okay. Which wall, I couldn't tell you. Right, let's go into the attic for no reason other than to be nosy. He might be hiding in the attic, kid. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Okay, well, there was a candle on the table. We do know that because he likes to read at night. So, let's pick up that candle, please. <gasps> yeah, thank you. All right, we're making progress. All right, kid, don't worry. I am helping, I swear. All right, let's try not to knock it over and burn down the place. That would be bad. Just some old things. All right, we can't use that, but we've got a, a satchel. satchel. It's 
very flat. It's a letter, a secret letter. Hello there, George. I know that it's difficult for you to find a job and you need to feed and clothe your son. So I've attached this letter uh, to this letter, a pub leaflet. I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. It doesn't say who wrote this letter, though. Just mystery man. Uh, I guess that was everything that we could have used up there. So, uh, hey, kid, do you want to... Do you want to have a chat? We do. Okay, so we've explored the room. Okay. We've got more evidence. Right. The old Tabard pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular. He's a regular, but he's okay. he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. That's fine. I mean, I'm not going to judge if he was a drinker. Find out more about the special job. So we're going to have to go to the... We need to go to the pub. So let's go to the pub. Which was on North Street. Uh, yeah, this way. <laughs> I lost my bearings for a second, I was like, oops. Uh, this way. Yes, because we went past the man. Who's this kid? I was our informant. What's his name? Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins, Wiggins that was a, you found yourself a job. If you can call it that, newspaper I boy. But if, if you've got any proper work for me, yes. I just might be able <laughs> to your assistance later. Wait here. Just to have your newspapers, kid. It won't take too long. It's all right. Right, we need to go in here. Ooh, this looks like an absolute I need to eel dive. To find out who is offering this special job. I need to earwig. Oh goodness, is that meaning that I need to be stealthy? This isn't stealthy. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Oh, this is very strange. We didn't have this. The man who's offering that special wow. job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Okay. Excellent facial hair. I like it. Right, we're gonna earwig on these dudes. Come on. Yeah, this was definitely not something that we had like in Crimes and Punishments. Oh, that doesn't help. I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. We like to complain to Watson, don't we? Okay, mutton chops. Oh, so Wigan. Never mind, hang on. This guy, he's got mutton chops. Stronger together, stronger than ever. There's no one to eavesdrop on for me. You've got some good facial hair, although I think it's the wrong kind of facial hair. We'll sit down here. Oh, this is dodgy. Because <laughs> this isn't shifty at all. We just walked in and we were starting to like no, no, creep no. up on people. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he okay. never drinks alcohol. Never drinks alcohol. So he's got mutton chops, amazing facial hair, and so he's the man I'm looking for has whiskers teetotal. And never he's drinks just alcohol. straight edge. Hello, sir. Can you tell me anything? All right, maybe not. The child labour law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. He's got a beard, whiskers. He drinks though. Like, look, look at his nose. He's got a scar on his hand. Look at that. He's got a beverage, so this isn't the guy. That's also... No, because that's not mutton chops. <laughs> not in the slightest. So we can... I think it's this guy. He's not drinking anything, look. It's water. Yeah. He's got mutton chops. 
It's this guy. I, I knew that already. He was sat be the man, by the himself, man. obviously. <laughs> Unless we pay Wiggins to sort of shadow him. Skip time. I'm not skipping time. I'm just going to sit here and chill really awkwardly. Who's he waiting for? He's drinking. I didn't know that we had such amazing control over time. Nothing's going... I need to keep a, an eye out. I need to pay attention because otherwise we're going to miss something. Someone's coming in. Sailor, all right. He looks kind of sad, doesn't he? Or he's trying to avoid people's glance. Because he keeps holding his head in his hands, like... Why do you keep doing that? All right, Bobbies are like walking past. See you later. A well-dressed gentleman compared with some of the other dudes. Oh. 30 minutes later. Was that really 30 minutes? It felt like absolutely ages. Oh, he's got his hat on. Very good. John Stowbridge. All right, well, I'm picking that up. I need to find out who's gone missing and why he wanted to get rid of her. It's something to do with his job, right? Come on. Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. Right, so what do we have? At the start of October, Mr. John Strowbridge went missing from Dorset Street under mysterious circumstances. If you have any information, please contact Mrs. Strowbridge at 5 Dorset Street. Thank you in advance for any information or help. Right, 5 Dorset Street. Unless any of these dudes can help. Dump the bosses off your backs. Probably not. He's too busy going on about his workers' rights, which is fair enough, I understand. Wiggins, follow him, please. You know what you to do. Ha <laughs> need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. Good lad. Oh shoot, I'm Wiggins. That's cool. I don't remember playing as Wiggins last time. Oh no, this means I have to be stealthy. He went this way. Ah, oh, there he is. Beggars everywhere. No, he's still going. Now keep going, buddy. All right, buddy. We need to find more cover. Ooh, nearly. Nearly, nearly. No one's following you, mate. It's just London. Oh, the coppers are there. Oh, dear. They won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. <laughs> Why? Folk feed meat to their dogs. Ah, oh, okay. Do they? Feeding costs are too much these days. My son has to work down the sewers. He's only seven. All right, buddy. Don't worry. I've got this.
Right, we'll get to that. What are you Come waiting on. for? I'm not waiting for anything, my dude. Those are some nice uh, pumpkins. Boys from the Bruises gang. Better keep out of their way. All right, okay. He's got a dope Take hat, hasn't and he? Get in there. <laughs> Stop crying and get to work. <laughs> Stupid kid. I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney, but it's dangerous. Yeah, I don't care. We're going in. What are you waiting for? Flip. Go on then. Uh, all right. A true uh, Victorian child experience. Right, we have to keep going. <coughs> I mean, this is not really what I had in mind. <coughs> brush all the soot away with my crappy brush. Yes, let's go, Wiggins. There's a rat. Did you see it? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we need to get out of here. Come on. Right. He's still here, that's a relief. Well, that's very lucky, isn't it, Wiggins? Because otherwise we would have been screwed. bad at this. Oh. Wiggins, oh. this is incredibly dangerous. Holmes, oh. Oh. stop with oh. that noise, my dude. Why are we sending children into such peril like this? What the heck? So not only did he go up the chimney, oh. we are also potentially making him fall to his death. Wow. Okay, this man's here. So we need to head up and over. Where did he come from? <laughs> uh, the magic. <laughs> You didn't see anything, lady. Don't worry. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What uh, shall we do with a drunken sailor? Or I in the morning? Sir, not now. This is not <laughs> not the time. Hmm. No place to hide here. We better go through the yard. Right. What are you doing in my garden? Shut up, woman. <laughs> it's alright, Grandma, don't worry. You don't need to think about it. Okay, so he's here. Shut up. <laughs> Just stop, you two. Oop, 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 oop. Nearly. I've got cover there, so let's run here and uh, 
He's just gonna turn around. It's no one here. It's just a ghost. What do you mean, sir? Where are we going now? Someone's house. Okay. Which street are we on? Union Street. Okay. Shoe shine Jim. He's mute because his drunk stepfather beat him. Oh. Hey Jim, can you lend me your kit? Mm. I'm on a secret mission for Mr. Holmes. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Nice. Hey, buddy. Are we going to polish his shoes? We are. We're going to play like a. Our polish, right? This could be useful with oh, a small brush. Now, this shoe needs some polish. There we go. I'm no expert. I'm sorry, sir. I'm still learning. Yeah, you're no kidding. I mean, that's not how I would polish my shoes. I would shoot the doggies at there. But we're nearly done, so that's fine. My failed attempts at polishing this man's shoes, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's talking with a cabin. We need to get closer. We can go through the side streets. Here we go. Hmm. Well, we can't follow him now. We're not going to be able to keep up. I can't lose him now. <laughs> okay. That wasn't smart, was it? What the heck are we... We're just sending children into absolute danger. That's not good. <laughs> okay, Wiggins, where are we now? A manor house, okay. Or at least like a... What's going on in the yard? Can we climb up there? I don't know. Ah, can we get... No. Yeah, what is going on in the yard? Oh, hang on. Locked. Snap. Ah, there's a, there's a hole. There we go. I mean, this cabbie's not saying anything. Surely he would have... Uh, complained. Potatoes. I like this ass. Do only two people live here? Hmm. I wish one was me. Well, it's not... really what you had in mind, was it? Oh, sugar. Have we got to go inside it's this too house? too dangerous to enter. Yeah, I was going to say, like, kid, do we have to enter? That would have been really bad. I can't see what's inside. Okay. Maybe we can go through the back? Yes, we can, is the answer to that question. Yes, we can. I can't see what's inside. Oh, so no, these people need to clean their windows. Don't they have servants? Or if they do, their servants aren't doing a good job. Okay, we've got... Oh, a coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Good job, kid. Well done. Wow. A 
A lot of expensive stuff. Expensive stuff. All right, so that was all we Time needed. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Well, we'll try. I mean, so far, I don't think my stealthing skills have been too bad, Wiggins. I think we did an all right job. Honestly, I think we've done okay. So let's go back to Holmes and report back to him. And hope no one sees us, because that would be awkward. Right, up and over. Wow. <laughs> Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Um, I, I don't know, Watson. <laughs> Wiggins did a good job. He did. We put him in all kinds of danger and it was fine. Where's Toby? He's still sleeping. That's great. Right, so we've got the drawing of the coat of arms made by Wiggins. So we need to look up whose coat of arms that is. Um, do you have any... Holmes, we need to help poor Tom. Watson, can you stop stating the obvious? Like, please. Right, coat of arms, there we go. Um, marks and symbols, no. Oh, I think it's marks and symbols. English coat of arms, there we go. The Marsh family, okay. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lord Edward Marsh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Okay, that's why there was bags of potatoes in that house. That makes sense. Lord Marsh is also renowned as a co-founder of the special education program which allows poor people the opportunity of an education lord marsh resides at three mainsbury road london okay here it is so this man could be lord could marsh. Be. Huh. a lord who hangs around in a public house let's pay a visit to lord marsh we'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities that explains why he had a nice hat, because he did, didn't he? Nice facial hair and a hat. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. Wow. I'm afraid that <laughs> won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. Okay. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> Hello? My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's mm. being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However, Shut up, kid. You will tell me, won't you, father? No. Uh, maybe. We'll see if you behave. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? I don't... Well, I guess she will be helping us. Why... Oh, God. We're just surrounded by children right now, and this is absolutely terrifying. Watson, you can be the babysitter. Thanks. See you later, mate. I should have probably got changed out of <laughs> out of my clothes. I realise I just I still have my crap clothes on. Oops, my bad. Holmes, about Caitlin. <gasps> yes? oh, I'm still dressed like a hobo. <laughs> she has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to to tell her? To tell her what? Yeah, Watson? tell her what? Well, about her father. Never, absolutely never. Do you hear me, Holmes? You were responsible for the death of her father. Uh, you owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Um, who's her father? I was going to say, like, we're not bonking anyone. Oh, I can't believe I'm just like a hobo. I'm so upset. Damn it. <laughs> Come in, please. 
Ah, uh, okay. Don't mind my attire, uh, Lord Marsh. I am so sorry. This is not appropriate. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, <laughs> Dr. Watson. Oh, no. Right, let's do some profiling, shall we? He is sat in a chair. His eyes are red. I think he's probably unwell, because he's got a... Yes, because doctor, okay, physician. Embroidered motif, so he is unwell. Cooking recipe, all right. No, personal assistant. No, 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 no. He tells this man what's going on. We need to know what's going on. Oh, painkiller, there we go. Okay, pills, strong painkiller, and we've got... Blankets? Is there anything? His nails? There we go. Blanket. He's cold. He's ill. A signet ring. M. Done. There we go. Okay, so we've got Reuben Fisher. Reuben Fisher is a young man of 25 and already a confident physician. He is well-educated, mannered, and a member of a hunting club. His clothes indicate that he is financially wealthy. Reuben Fisher is not only a physician, he is also Lord Marsh's personal assistant. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicated by his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. He has dedicated his life to helping the poor. He is ill, therefore he is covered with a blanket, despite the fact that it's quite warm inside the room because we've got a fire on as well. So yeah, he's not very well. Am I interrupting? I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> the last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Yes, please tell me uh, more. Yes, it is a war that we must fight on our streets mm -hmm. and now too from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. Uh, I haven't, but I do now, yes. That's a lot. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. Mm -hmm. Very good person. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. Yes. I recognize your face. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to hmm. me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can mm. approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. Got it, a yes. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since yes. Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that mm. such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help. I don't trust him. A He's like place. an angel of death, That's isn't remarkable. he? Yes, indeed. In order to truly see That's one my prediction. Vision, yes, but also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so Do you think so he's romantic. poisoning him? Let's close this topic. Okay. What's wrong with you, buddy? Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's yes. assistance? That is kind of you. But I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I don't think so, buddy. I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Painkiller, really? In that case, why are you taking yeah. such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. This man is poisoning him. I'm sorry. What a freak. <laughs> what an absolute freak. What do you think, Watson? Tell me. I'm intrigued by the special education program. That's not what I wanted to know. I wanted your medical expertise.
Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Wow, okay. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many mm. poor people will have a second chance in life. Well, that's good. Our quarter main club to celebrate our horseback riding, exploration Lord and hunting. Marsh, hunting with his friends. Okay. Ah, uh, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for oh. this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. Uh, not if that man's got anything to do with it. He is so poisoning him, I'm sorry. Some papers, document with seal. Uh, why are we just, like, browsing this man's personal stuff? This is kind of rude, but... Dear Lord Marsh, here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. Patrick Tanner, Thomas Kelly, John Strobridge. There we go. That was the guy that disappeared. William Thatcher, Reginald Staple. Da, 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 da. John Strobridge. I've yes. seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, hmm. don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes that's a lot of people. The list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Right. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. Mm, okay, fair enough. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. Yes. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. All right. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. So we need to go investigate this other lead about the other missing guy. Mr. Strobridge. So we need to talk to the wife somehow and see if she has any information for us so that we can uh, shed more light on what's going on. I don't really trust Reuben Fisher at all. Like, I feel he's a bit dodgy. I think he's maybe poisoning Lord Marsh. I He gives me weird vibes. Not liking it. So that's going to be what we're going to be doing next time around. I'm going to say thank you all so, so much for watching. That really does mean a lot to me. And and I will see you all again very soon.